Welcome to Modern Gun Dog Training. Throughout this series of programs, we're going to be exploring the training that goes into these people here, the English Springer Spaniel. They're hardworking, driven, and tremendously loyal. And with the right training, they make fantastic family companions and great friends and a real asset to us in the shooting field. We're going to be starting off with little people like this one here, working right through the stages and ages and ending up with adults like her mother and her father who will be out shooting with in later life. We're going to be visiting lots of shooting estates across Scotland throughout these programmes, but we'll also do a lot of our training on public access ground, which serves to prove that anybody with the time and inclination can find somewhere suitable to train their dog. I'm Joe Hipwell from Sealpin Gun Dogs at Riddle Estate in the Scottish Borders. And I train dogs for a living. I learnt how to do this from my grandpa, Edward Martin. And I compete with Spaniels and have had quite a bit of success with her mother and some others in field trials and have represented my country at international level. But what I really enjoy is helping people to get the best out of their dogs. That's what gives me the most satisfaction. And I hope that throughout this series of programmes, we'll be able to achieve that together. We're going to introduce Stark to group work. He's done all his training so far on his own, all the basic work. So this will be a new thing to him. He sat with a group of dogs, getting in and out of the car and just about the place, but he's never been out and done any retrieving with a group of them. So what we're gonna do, we don't want him to run in, but this is a potential where he might, when one of the other, others go. So I'm gonna put him on the lead, good boy. Now if we've done our background work properly, this shouldn't be too difficult which is a silly thing to say before we try it, I suppose. But it shouldn't be too difficult because I've hopefully installed in him the idea that he only goes for a retrieve when he hears his name. But add to that, you know, even with that, when another dog, an older dog, goes flying out past him for a retrieve that he really wants, it's very tempting for one. So when you're introducing group work like this, it's a good idea for the first time just to have him on the lead and get him to watch the older dogs sit up, doing a couple of retrieves first off, then we'll have him off the lead and see how he gets on. And it's really useful to do a bit of group work. And I'm doing it with a couple of my older dogs, but you can do just this exercise with a friend with their dog. Because it's really great because so far for Stark, 100% of the retrieves that I've thrown for him, either I've gone out and picked up or he's picked up. Whether they're memories or scene retrieves, he's got to think that a lot of the, um, the high percentage of the things he sees thrown he gets to pick. And that's not the reality on a shoot day. So we've got these two here just to get him used to the idea that not, not everything is for him. And more than that, you know, far less than 50% of things are for him. So it's a good exercise in steadiness, whether it's other dogs of your own or somebody else's. So what we'll do, sit up. Just have him on the lead there, just loose, sit up. And put a couple of retrieves out. So normally with an exercise like this, he'd be anticipating me sending him for both of these retrieves. But with the lead on, if he goes when I send one of the other ones, there can be no big hoo-ha. We don't have to tell him off or anything. Just use the lead to correct him, sit him down and just show him, no, no, you shouldn't have gone for that. Sit up. Let's see how he does. Sit up. See there. See, that was okay. I said her name nice and clearly. See there. Sit up, sit up. And the other time when they might be a little bit fidgety and anxious is when another dog's coming back with one. They might think, oh, I should have that and try to take it. But that was a good little test because she went right past him. Good girl, good girl, sit up, sit up. Boy, sit up, Missy. Sit up. Good boy. Sit up. Sit up, you. Good girl. Sit up. So that was fine. So I'm going to try that with him off the lead. Having him on the lead was probably, good boy, a little bit too safe, but it's better to be too safe than too sorry. Good boy. Because I'd rather not, if he runs in, I'd rather not have to correct him and give him a telling off. I'd rather do it like that with the lead to avoid that. So he's watched them both have a retrieve each with him sat there on the lead. We'll do the same thing with him off the lead. Good boy. He's nice and calm and settled here. I thought he might be a bit more boisterous and keen for it. 
But just show, I mean, I did take time with him to get him properly steady and properly used to the idea that it's just his name that means he can go for a retrieve. Because in preparation for this, I've also practiced looking at him as if I'm going to send him and going, no, like that. And, he, and he'll kind of hesitate and he's just waiting for his name. No, sit, no, sit. You know, as if I was going to send him, but I'm putting a different word in there. That's great preparation for this, because now I'm just going to do a similar thing, but with another dog's name. Sit up. Missy. Good girl. Sit up. Good girl. Sit up. Sit up. Beaver. Sit up, uh, uh, sit up, sit up, sit up. So he just lifted his bottom off the ground then, wagging his tail to see what she was up to. So without delaying it, I just bent down and said, Oi, come on, sit up. Just made sure he knew he was supposed to stay there. Good girl, sit up, good girl, sit up. Okay, so that's four retrieves. He's watched quite nicely. He just got up and thought he might participate in Vivas there, but he's been pretty good really for his first time in a group like this, so we'll reward him with a retrieve like that. Sit up. Stark. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Starkey. Good boy. Come on, Starkey. Good boy. Stark, sit up. Stark, sit up. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Pardon? Got the right gun today, yeah. Okay, shall I go? Come on. Visa. Good girl. Heel, heel, good girl. Sit up, sit up. Fever. Good girl, good girl. 